Greetings, Bible nerds. It is I, your friendly neighborhood Christian comic artist, artsy Bible nerd. We're working on page 23 of Joseph, favorite son of Israel. Uh, this is what it looks like, what what we've done yesterday with only the, the ink, without the pencil marks. I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to... Uh, after I stopped streaming yesterday, I, I went back and tweaked a few things. I have to really stop doing that. If I keep tweaking, then I'll never get done. So, uh, this is the next panel uh, I've done. Uh, I'm not quite done with the pencils over here, as you can see. Um, so, let's see how far we can get with this. So, how's it going? Uh, let's make sure my music is working. Let's make sure. Making sure. Here we go. Now I can see the chat. I can see the chat. So I still got some, uh, some shopping that needs to be done. A little bit of shopping. See, uh, not only do we have Christmas to shop for, but my my wife's birthday is shortly after Christmas. So I have to shop for Christmas and her birthday. Some people are lucky to be able to spread out the holidays and the birthdays all throughout the year. Not our family. Uh, and also, uh, my birthday and my son's birthday come a week apart. And then, uh, that's usually around, around the, the Easter holiday, so... So my wife gets to have a dose of her own medicine during my birthday and her son's birthday. Our son's birthday. There's a difference between when I ink the tick lines going out from the darkness. When you throw them, uh, it's actually called throwing lines. You throw them willy-nilly, without a care. You don't know where they're going to land. But when I place them, I go in from, from the light into the darkness. Subtle nuance. One is I'm very careful about where I want these lines to go, and the other way is I don't care what where I don't care where these lines are going. I think I'm gonna have to record a new we have the one uh, Christmas holiday music. I think I need to record another because I'm going to get tired of these songs. Where am I going to find more copyright free songs? I think I exhausted the list that was available. Got them from YouTube. Do that again. So I think I got all of the songs that I could possibly get from the YouTube. The tubes of you. You know what? I'm gonna throw. Throw! Throw them! Throw those lines! 
eat. Where those lines? I don't care where they go. Okay, I have some semblance of where to go now, but have some semblance of direction, but not necessarily a uh, semblance of how far they're going. You know why? Because art is not, uh, I was going to say, I was almost going to say that it's not done by a computer, but I can't say that anymore. Art can be done by a computer nowadays. Art is a human activity. And the more human your art looks, the more appealing it's going to be to the human eye. thinking about uh, the, the 80s, back in the 80s in music, uh, pop music was very heavy on synthesizers because it was a brand new thing. It was the new fangled gadget of the time and everyone who had a band said, ooh, let's use this synthesizer. We can have an orchestra in our band if we just use this synthesizer. Well, uh, the orchestra effects didn't sound that great. And then when you use a lot, that's a lot of non-greatness in, in your music. So I, I see some of these uh, computer artists today, AI computer artists, who are making art with AI and using it as a tool, that is. Uh, a lot of these people are overusing the AI. In my humble opinion, I think AI should be one tool in your artist to toolbox. If you want to use it at all. There's a choice. You could choose not to use it at all. Says the man who is taking four years to make one episode of this comic. Why am I doing this to myself? Here. Because I have a narrow space, I don't know where those throne lines are going to go if I just throw them, but right now I'm going to place them 